Oh, hi. I'm Robin Hoffman. I'm a public artist here in Charlottesville, and some people want to know, what's a public artist? Well, a public artist can be somebody who gets commissioned to go all the way to San Francisco, and they, of course, the client doesn't really know the idea, but they wanted me to do a scenery for a theater. So I thought, okay, what kind of theater is it? And so they said it was a Yiddish theater. And so then I went and looked at the historical background of the Yiddish theater. And I recognized that all of a sudden that Yiddish language went all the way back to like 1850 or whatever. And it was part of Germany, it was part of um, actually um, um, some of the uh, Middle East Middle Eastern and then the Eastern part of Europe. Um, so what happened is um, they came up with this language and this language helped them through a lot of uh, problems because it was also um, an art form in the sense that uh, it, it was a form of expression that was sort of a, a, a cultural thing. Um, just like any other language, but it became a language where um, people uh, wrote and they made laws with it and they became sort of um, immersed in the idea of the words and how they were expressed and, and so forth and so on. And it was kind of a high German. And um, but then something happened over the years, which always does. And people got sort of out of... Um, uh, being a part of a community, there was some kind of Hitler or whatever um, decided that you know he didn't want um, he wanted to have all the power, so he got rid of anybody who was educated and who um, tried to make uh, a difference in the world, including the arts and things like that, so that he could just have his toys and. Um, a lot of people who had some um, uh, problems financially went on board with that, and they called that a national nationalism. And that, uh, so everybody said, okay, let's be nationalists because then we'll get all this money. But in fact, it was very similar to the way it is right now, where people didn't have very much money. And even after being a nationalist, or being an American in this case, so um, anyway, uh, so today I am going to um, try to um, depict. Oh! Oh, hey, Robin, how you doing? What a surprise! What are you doing here in San Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have a seat? Oh, oh my I God! Sit here? Yes, please. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is out enjoying this beautiful morning, <laughs> and I see you up here on the mountain near the Golden Gate Bridge, and you're. Um, and this wonderful um, view up here. What are you doing up here? Well, first I had to put my hat on because I'm going to have to do this project for a uh, Yiddish theater. What, what's the Yiddish theater? So it's interesting because I had to do some research to find out, you know, what a Yiddish theater was. Yes. And I started reading some of the stories. Like most people are familiar with Fiddle on the Roof. Yes. That's like one of the stories, That's right? That's with the rich man. If I was a rich man, da 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 like, like that? Yes. That's Yiddish? Yes. Oh, wow, okay. Well, it was written by a person who was Yiddish mm -hmm. speaking. So originally it was Yiddish. And then, but the, the author of the, the uh, musical or the play or the story, really, mm -hmm. um, you'll hear a lot of Yiddish in there, um, like the names of the people and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And why I, I was interested, first of all, because I'm commissioned, right? Yes. But also because um, what happens is uh, I start realizing how history never seems to change. <laughs> like, people seem to do the same things year after year after year. Mm -hmm. They don't change. I mean, and then, you know, it depends on our climate. It depends on the climate. Yes. Like, when we had the... When we had the Dust Bowl in 1935, was mm -hmm. the same time when Hitler was in power. So it's the public client and the environment client, climate at the same time. Yeah. Yes. 
and how people decide they're going to do something or elect to do something or not do something. Mm -hmm. But you know what's really cool? What's that? You're an actor. Yes. <laughs> I was Depend on the cli climate also. <laughs> well, I'm going to try to do this painting. It's just going to be a generic painting or whatever. But uh -huh. at this time, I was wondering if... Well, first of all, let me ask you about yourself a little bit yes. while I set up. Do you yes. mind? No, do you mind ahead. if I paint? Do you mind if I do anything? Uh, I'm just taking advantage of you. You're so creative. Oh Whatever you gosh. do, wherever oh. hat that you wear, oh. I'm here to support you. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right. Plus, so, I love your art, too. I think you're amazing. Oh, my. Well. And you're fast. Ditto. Oh, thank you. Ditto. Thank you. Ditto. <laughs> like a million times. Um, well, and I'm trying to be fast because um, we're going to sell these paintings for auction for other producers. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, that's very important. Yeah, because people can't afford $50 a year. Yeah, and we got to support each other as artists. Yeah. You know, And also, very important. this is Charlottesville Community Media Center. Yes, and Charlottesville in San Francisco. Hey. Yeah. Win-win. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't want to have um, people like just, you know, getting at a desk, then just talking amongst themselves or whatever. Mm -hmm. You want to have some variety or else nobody's going to use it or yes. look at it, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was wondering, oh, and then so tell me about yourself while I set my paintings well, up. Okay, I'm Daryl. Um, God, I've been in Charlottesville for the last, um, say, 18 years. I work at Live Arts, which is the community theater in town. Um, we're hitting our 30th anniversary um, next year in 2020. I, my current position is on the box office manager um, at Live Arts, and if they get desperate enough, you might see me on stage. Um, I think my last production, I played um, a daddy in Sweet Charity. I was in um, the production of Chorus Line. I played Greg. And um, sometimes you can see me in the ensemble or background. <laughs> Dream work. And I, I think it's community driven, um, it's volunteer driven. Um, that's why I think we've been here for 30 years and that's why I think we're gonna continue to be here um, for another 30 years because we're, we're community driven. I really need to um, ask you more about your acting. Oh, my acting. Yeah. Um, it's lots of rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Time is makes me a better actor, and trust is very important mm -hmm. in acting and, and with your partner, and having this communication with another actor and respect for another actor, and mm -hmm. just figuring out your bound, boundaries makes me a better actor, and I think that helped me support my other actor in, in the situation. And I'm no I'm no actor. I'm more of like a a volunteer actor. <laughs> no, I've seen your performance. You are an artist. Uh, you are. It's, I think it's, it's a good director, and you're trusting your director and another actor, and no, another person. No, you have to have a vision. Just you have to be there. <laughs> yeah, and right? that's the communication also is very important. Um, but I think you're, um, it's your persona. It's the way you address the um, audience or not audience or your fellow actors as you say mm -hmm. but also there was a strong like for live arts mm -hmm. the acting is very high I think professional you. I yeah. mean it's it's yeah it's like I think it's that have that same creative vision have the same vision and the same goal and trust and plus I, I think sharing and being with another artist makes you want to be more creative and take more chances um, and just having a good partner or a good scene person with that and also a good director who can tell you that, hey, let's work on this. We can do better. Makes you a stronger, you know, I can, just like painting. Yes. Like the more you do, the more, you know, the more you screw up, the better you are, you are as an artist also. And the more you practice. You decide like, what your angle's gonna be or what your yeah. niche is. Yeah, and, and it's all about of. hitting your mark too. You wanna mm -hmm. hit your mark. <laughs> and you wanna be prepared when you come into a situation also. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you do this or not, but do you do you work with um I don't know what they call it anymore. Um people who work in jails. Uh, actually that was Bree Lux. Um she started um going to jails 
Yes. And producing plays, um, but I, I never haven't been part of that. No. Um, no, not myself. Now I was in worked teaching. in a prison myself, mm -hmm. um, and I. But she's great at that. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, what I want to yeah. say is that it was kind of like I remember my cousins coming up, mm -hmm. and they went into theater in high school, mm -hmm. and so the idea is not only is the viewer or the you know the person who's trying to understand what the play is about. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what happens for the person who is actually doing the process, they become that situation. Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, the whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, and it's taking people who are not, you know, um, used to theater or the theater process, and theater should be for everyone. It should be wherever community you're in, it should be accessible for, you know, wherever your situation is, you know, and your educational background. And, and 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 but right mm -hmm. so that was like the del that was the thing that free luck had to do yeah. like right yeah sort of be again people who are like you know with less opportunity more opportunity to be more creative and express express their visions and I think everyone has a vision to be an artist you yeah know? either that's painting or acting or yeah you know creating something wherever that is well that's the thing it's that uh, I think that that gave people mm -hmm. who had no other view mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. They had to immerse themselves into a view of life. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, okay, um, do, do an Epson play or whatever it's called. Yeah. It was that they had to be the dad. Mm -hmm. They had to be the whatever, mm -hmm. right, in the play. Mm -hmm. And that was their role, almost as if for real life, mm -hmm. that they were, uh, having to participate. They mm -hmm. couldn't just, you know, they couldn't just um, say, read the lines. Yes. I mean, I'm assuming you're, you're painting, you kind of, you have a vision, a creative vision, kind of like a play also, but you're more insular where it's a one-on-one thing where, and the play could be one-on-one or it could be another creative, um, you know, like we're doing right now. We're yes. creating something together. Yes. You know, and we're kind of feeding off each other. Which I think is very important, also. Yes, and I f I feel like um, one of the things that I realized when I went to Live Arts, for instance, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to like being in New York City or whatever it's called, um, your expectations is that it's not going to be that professional. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, it's a uh, small town, it's going to be a small town play or whatever. <gasps> but was I surprised? I mean, the people, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, who are putting on the performance, how many hours do they have to do that? Before? So a, a rehearsal period, usually two months. Um, we do rehearsals Sunday through Thursday, three hours a night for rehearsals. Um, depending if you're doing a musical, there's dance rehearsals, there's um, singing rehearsals, um, there's working with the band, working with a choreographer, and also working with the directors, so um, maybe 15 hours a week for two months, and then we do a four-week production, usually four to five weeks of a play. So it's a big commitment. Oh my God! And I'm assuming if you put that much time and energy, and we know we're a volunteer, we're a community theater. So that so means people aren't getting paid. People are getting paid. They're doing it because they want Get to be part of the community. Get out of here! They put that much effort. Yeah, and because they love, and I think the respect and the work that they get from it they get something for it personally and just they you know you don't need money to be an artist it helps what, <laughs> what? Wait, wait 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 i have to make money are you kidding you got to make money but i'm also working on this commission and that means i have to do like mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. like actors i have to like do some yeah we want to get paid you know we want yeah. to be respected and get paid for our work but you know i'm assuming you would paint if you didn't have the means to do it are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? I mean, you have to buy your paint, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm assuming if you wasn't painting with paint, you'd be doing something else, artistic-wise. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm yeah. I'm actually yeah. painting. You're very right. I'm mm -hmm. painting on a. I mean, when you be doing using chalk or something else, or you know, crushed leaves or something. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly right. You it's know, what? some pigment or dye or something. Yes, you're so right. It's, it's in you. It's in your. It's in your soul. Your well, soul. they teach you that at school, but plus, 
uh, there are times when I forget stuff, and so I have to use whatever's available. Mm -hmm. And that's when you improv. Yeah. Improv. Oh, that just reminded me. Oh my God, would you do me a favor? Yes. I have to do this up on this Golden Gate Bridge. A favor. Yeah. <laughs> Can you read this story? Yiddish with Dick and Jane. Then yes. You gotta know Yiddish. No. <laughs> Well, you might know some of the words because they use them for uh. different things. But it's, uh, yeah, if you don't mind. Okay, see Jane. Jane is married to Bob. Jane loves Bob very much. Bob is a real menish, menish? Mensch. Mensch. He is kind of like a mensch. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Good, you're showing the he's, pictures. He's taking the trash out. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. You're such a, oh my goodness, you're so nice. Okay. Uh, these generals are kind of dated, but it's okay. Because uh, <laughs> this is Jane, and she's cooking, and Bob's just sitting there <laughs> eating. They have a dog and two kids. <laughs> so, okay. So, Jane and Bob have two children. Their name is Katie and Scott. They do well in school and help take care of Max and Whiskers, which I think is the cat and dog. Or Whiskers could be the... Um, dog. No gender roles here. Okay, so what good kids we have, said Jane and Bob. Um, they're Kanahara. Kanahara? Yeah, Kanahara. Kanahara. See, See, I, I don't know, know Yiddish this, at all. I know this because my grandfather spoke Yiddish and he ran mm -hmm. from the Russian programs. He was, that's how come I got involved with Yiddish. In school I took an elective Yiddish literature. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. So can I that good or bad? Are there like... Congratulations. Oh. Kind of. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought maybe that would explain the kids. Okay. So Jane showed Bob and the kids the pretty purse she brought for Ellen's birthday. Ellen is Jane's best friend. I wanted to get something nice for Ellen, said Jane. I did not want to give her a piece of Sherlock. Sherlock? Um... Is that sh <laughs> how did how's it spelled? S C H L O C K. Schlock. Yes. So, so the gender roles in here is very. Well, how old is this book? Um. Well, somebody gave it to me while I was in Charlottesville, so it's less than thirteen years old. I think. Okay. I might have to make come up with a new one. Yes, definitely. <laughs> I, you probably could come up with a new one. You were uh, the one to do oh, it. Oh, so Jane works in real estate. Jane has a job. <laughs> <laughs> Today is Sunday. Jane has an open house. She must Sherlock the open house sign to the car. So it's S-C-H-L-E-P. Oh. So yeah. she's not doing really good. She's dropping, if you can see there. She's um, dropping her signs. <laughs> Slop stuff to the car, maybe? Can I say the word? Yeah. Slap. Slap. Oh, of course. Slap. Yeah. She slap. Oh, she, oh, see, Jane slap. You know what that means, slap right? Jane, like, whole stuff. Yeah, across. yeah. And, and that's a Yiddish. Did you know that? No. Either did I. I mean, slap, slap, I slap, slap. Now we're turning into, like, green eggs and ham here. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed well, to be a learning book, I'm really right? good at improv reading. Okay. Uh, Bob take Katie and Scott to visit Jane's mother. Katie and Scott visit grandmother a lot. She's had been filling, oh my God. Okay, let's see. I-B-B-L-E-D-I-C-K. Bob, Bob. Lately. Let me see. Ibidek. Ibidek. <laughs> Where is it? Which one? Right here. Uh, what is all I know. Uh, yeah, well, your notes are falling. I'm a dick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, it is okay. what it is. Okay, anybody out there, it's I-B-B-L-E-D-I-C-K, which is dick. I know that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my goodness, it's so funny. Okay, go ahead. Okay, see Stanley. He is Jane's boss. Really, that. Um, he comes to the open house and he puts fresh flowers and scented candles everywhere. He is real still so artistic and just has that gift. 
S C S H T I K L. Which I think he, he, I think he might be a little artist. Okay, settle. Okay. <laughs> Just so, just make the words like how it sounds, and then I'll, I might be able to guess it. Okay, Jane's Jane likes open houses. Yes, we do. She liked meeting new people. She even liked the sonorists who just oh, who just came there to nosh. I know nosh. Yes. So this S H N O R R E R S. This is a test for me, the morning you. <laughs> no, it's for me, too. I, I, I know a, Nosh. Nosh is to eat. Try to sound it out so that I could. Sh S H N Sh O R O R R E R S. Snoring. Something. Snoring? Nosh, no. Nosh, Nosh, Nosh. So as you don't see here, there's Jane working hard. And there are these two guys back here, and they're just taking advantage of her. Which I think is her boss. Oh my god! And I think he, she's he's kind of hitting on this young man right here. Wow! But you can't see that. Okay, right. <laughs> he's good with scent flowers and scented candles. Go hmm. figure. <laughs> this is kind of advanced for kids, you know. I know. Okay, Bob and Katie and Scott's arrived at grandmother's house. They ring the bell and wait for Bubba to open the door. Gunisti, G O R. N I S. Gesundheit. 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 You know what that means? You Gesundheit. know what that means. Ge How do you spell Gesundheit? I think that sounds like it. Why are they saying Gesundheit? Gesundheit. He didn't sneeze? No. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe, I don't know, maybe. All right. Go ahead. They ring again and again and again. Taking Gnosti, Gnistheit. See, it can't be the same. Bob find the spare key under the mat to open the door. So they're breaking into the house. I hope grandmother's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Gavant. Oh, Gavant? Oi, Gavant. Gavant. Okay, so grandmother kind of fell. Oh. That's why she didn't ask. See, I was worried. Oh. I was so worried. Hmm. Oh, so Jane goes to see Ellen. I think Jane and Ellen might be having some kind of relationship. Jane get Ellen her birthday present. Mom's the top, Ellen, said Jane. I know that. Yeah. Okay. What a beautiful purse, said Ellen. I cannot accept this, Jane. Phew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't even try this. Okay. It says G E Z U N T E R. H E Y T. I don't know. Just make the just to say it the way it is. All the good day. Ellen insists. Jane. <laughs> Ellen brings out coffee and entertainments. Then nibbles and gibbs it for a while. K I B B I T Z for a while. Kibbits. 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 I think they have a relationship, Jane and Ellen. I'm just. I'm thinking too. I'm okay, you just know saying. You, I'm, somebody's gonna get roofy. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing over there? Okay. So I think the audience is kind of. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're giving me food for thought because I have to get into the Yiddish thing. Okay. All right. So Bob and Katie and Scott sit by a grandmother. Could grandmother passed out. They wait for the ambulance. Father and Katie is Bubby be okay? Of course, Katie. Is Bubby like what you call your grandmother? I'm assuming, yes. Of course, Katie, said Bob. She just a little test do doubt. T E S D O O D E L T. They hear the sirens outside. The paramedics tense themselves in. T A N Z. It is the paramedics. Yeah. Actually, there's a male and female paramedic, which is... Oh, that's all right. good. That's modern. All right, okay. I know. I mean, it's... Everybody's very attractive in this, in this book, too. It's histor It's <laughs> J Dick and Jane, which is 
They don't write it again, right? They don't. No. They're not like redoing it. So okay. So they have grandmother on the stretcher, stretcher taking her to the ambulance. Oh. So the paramedics examined grandmother. A noose said Bob. The paramedics got grandmother into a stretcher. One paramedic looked at Bob. Eskistas says the paramedic. I'm just making up words now. I know, I'm sorry. I don't know what they're talking <laughs> the about. The paramedics carry grandmother to the ambulance. They drive her to the hospital. Bob take out his cell phone. Oh, they have cell phones to call Jane. I thought it was 1950s. I'm sorry, this is so funny. When the mother hear that she's with plots, said Bob. Plots? P-L-O-T-Z. Yeah, plots. They say that a lot. Bob tell Jane the news. Your mother is not in pain, Jane said to Bob. She is slightly trusty in coop. <laughs> I hate when my trustees in, in coops. That was, <laughs> in la that was last night, actually. Oh. See, Dick? See what happened when you're... Never mind. Dick is Jane's brother. Dick is playing gro golf with Tom. He borrows Tom... Um, sandwich. Tom is Dick Owens Chevreur. Okay, we have yes. to stop now. I'm sorry there's, to say we're going to have so to. There's so much to go on. Here. I know we're going to have to continue I, another time. Okay. I'm so, sure you're excited about it. I next. See, well, yeah, I am. Because <laughs> that's that's a big stick. Um. If you can tell. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm finishing up my picture, which I have to do in okay. 42 minutes seconds okay okay so, so i will continue this reading yeah um, so in because private. i'm not allowed to work on it after that because then i can't say I, okay so i'm gonna finish right now because you know we have to close it we have to wrap it up okay. and so i want to say thank you so much for being here and helping me with my yiddish theater um event and um i hope that we um both can um um continue to uh read <laughs> yiddish together yes or in private yes and so i guess we can stand up okay and um well, Careful, don't fall off the cliff. Okay, I'm trying not to, <laughs> but I guess we can. Um, Here, we can float. Which way do we come in? This way. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's go this way. Huh? Okay. Should I lead the way. Let's go over the bridge. Okay, let's go on the bridge. We're going on the bridge. No, we're going on the bridge this yeah, way. This way. Okay. <laughs> we have to go around.